career and just huge milestones. Oh, so much talent in Sheffield this weekend, Keely. Uh, not really the weather for it, though, is there? No, I hope they've packed their max, uh, their raincoats. <laughs> well is. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it is a festival, isn't it? And what's a festival without a little bit of rain? But there could be quite a lot of rain. It always uh, this seems weekend. to be extremes, though, doesn't it, with these things? Either boiling hot or. I know, I know we've had the, the hottest June on record, and now it's, it's, it's a soggy July, isn't it? And yeah, it does look very disappointing uh, for the weekend, I'm afraid. Um, not everyone's miserable. Some, some people don't mind. I say people, <laughs> look at these. Uh, these ladies don't seem to mind at all, do they, um, in the Pennine Hills here? And just take a look at this second picture. This is one especially for Amanda, our, oh, our resident oh, dog lover. Look at little Echo, Echo the dog. He, she, we're not sure, but they are all ready uh, for the weekend weather. I hope you've dug your uh, Mac out because I think you're going to need it this week. And keep your pictures uh, coming in if you're going to brave the rain this weekend. Uh, Twitter, Keely Donovan, Instagram, Keely.Donovan, or the Weather Watchers page, of course because it does look rather disappointing uh, for the middle towards the end of July. Uh, a little bit of respite towards the beginning of uh, next week, but just generally for the rest of the July, it does look relatively unsettled. So tomorrow, uh, there will be a lot of cloud around. There'll also be outbreaks of rain. Some of the rain uh, will be persistent and heavy at times. And it's all down to this area of low pressure. One front on Saturday, uh, this occluded front returns from the north, bringing some persistent, heavy and even thundery rain uh, through Sunday. Uh, isolated showers are more more isolated showers are on Monday and Tuesday doesn't look too bad either but it will be quite cool over the weekend as well. This is the satellite picture from earlier. We had a fair few showers today. They are dying out uh, from the west now so I think as we head through this evening uh, we will see dry weather uh, spreading east but it will be fairly cloudy and then this will be replaced by wetter weather. This first uh, front frontal system moving eastwards uh, overnight. Not a cold night. Temperatures uh, dropping back to around 12 degrees. Let's have a quick look at those high water times then at 7.40 in Scarborough and at 7.47 in Filey. So we'll start the day with a lot of cloud. That initial band of rain will move away, being replaced by another band of rain through the day. Uh, it could be persistent uh, and it could be heavy at times as well. The breeze will pick up to generally moderate, but I think some gustier conditions across parts of South Yorkshire. And those temperatures really suppressed, particularly for the time of year. We will expect temperatures like this in May, not in July, 16 or 17 degrees. Looking further ahead into Sunday, another band of rain will sink down from the north. It will be persistent at times and heavy at times as well. There could be some embedded thunderstorms as well. Not as many showers on Monday or on Tuesday, but it will remain cool. Uh, and then it does look relatively unsettled. The rain returns for Wednesday. Amanda? Let's hope summer returns. Thank you very much, Keely. That's <laughs> it from us. We can go now.